Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 9th of 2023 well, it is titled Pandora's Cluster of Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, with very few exceptions, just about everything we are looking at here is a galaxy. We see one star towards the center of one of these groups of galaxies. That's actually a star within our own galaxy. And you note that by the diffraction pattern, the spiky lines going through it. And that specific pattern that we see tells us that this is from the James Webb Space Telescope imaging, as we see a specific pattern associated with that telescope. Now, if you look around, you'll see a few other stars scattered around the image that show the same kind of pattern. However, everything else that you're seeing here is a galaxy. And this is the galaxy cluster known as Abel 2744, also known as Pandora's cluster. And it's actually a very massive cluster, considering that it's three different clusters that are merging together. And this is about three and a half billion light years away. Now galaxies as they galaxies often merge together, but so do clusters of galaxies and groupings in the hierarchy of galaxies tend to add more and more to that. We see smaller groups like our own local group. Often those will merge into galaxy clusters into super clusters, and then into the great filaments that make up the large scale structure of the universe. And all of this is supported by something that we can't see here, which is called the dark matter. Dark matter dominates the visible light that we see in the universe. And in fact, when you look at clusters of galaxies like these, for every galaxy you see, there could be 50 or 100 galaxies worth of matter that is completely invisible and, and undetectable by any regular method. And that means it does not get they do not give off any type of electromagnetic radiation, nothing from x rays or gamma rays, through visible light to radio waves, they're completely invisible. So it's not just that they don't give off visible light that we're used to seeing, they give off no type of electromagnetic radiation. And we only detect them through their gravity. Now one of the ways we can do that is through gravitational lensing from clusters like this. And if you look around the image, you'll see a few galaxies that appear quite distorted as long streaks where they've been stretched out. Those are actually images of more distant galaxies. And as their light passes through the cluster, it gets distorted by the gravitational field of the clusters. So as that comes through, the light gets stretched and deviated and you get a very distorted image of these very distant galaxies. Now how much they're distorted depends on the amount of mass and studies have shown that there is nowhere near enough visible matter here to be able to explain the bending of light that occurs. So we need something much more a massive a lot of this dark matter that is concentrated around these galaxy clusters. So that was our picture of the day for June 9th of 2023. It was titled Pandora's Cluster of Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.